It's the first time ever in the state that we've had sculptures placed along the highway. And the idea behind this was to firstly, as part of a response to COVID last year, was to provide employment opportunities for our local CQ artists, but also to encourage people into the two tiny towns of Barora and Maroonvale to get our visitors traffic to stop and spend a bit of money in there because those towns have been doing it pretty hard. Well, this one here itself has brought um, quite a little bit of business to the pub. So we get people that just pull up and they're obviously doing the trail down the Bruce Highway and, uh, and to get them off the road, they've, uh, they've come in to the back street of Miriam Vale, which is the hub of our town. And um, yeah, so we have a, quite a few people that pull up and have a look and then in turn that um, they either come in and get a cold drink or some lunch or some dinner at night, so it's been good. The area that is outside the pub here just sort of lent itself to being something where people would walk past and instead of making it out of their reach kind of, I thought well may as well make it something that they can actually interact with and it's sort of been quite exciting really <laughs> to have so many people be able to look at it. The Rapid Moogle project involves five pieces along the highway. It's a 20 kilometre stretch of the highway, the Bruce Highway, so it runs probably about four kilometres north of Miriam Vale, comes into Miriam Vale, stops at the pub, and then wanders back down the Bruce Highway towards Jinjin, so probably another 14, 16 kilometres south of Miriam Vale. Being only 19 years old, it was a bit of a shock, to be honest. It, it's great to have a platform like this to be able to display my piece. And um, not only that, it's, it's great to have people in the art community that um, look up to things like this. And through this exhibition, I've, I've made a couple of new contacts, which has led to me, me to new opportunities. And it's just, it's absolutely fantastic. For the past five years, I've been working as a professional diver um, in marine conservation and research across the world. So I've taken a lot of those daily encounters with the reef and um, put them into my artwork to try and create a very vibrant aesthetic, which appeals to people as they drive by um, and which comments on the inextric inextricable link between the uh, land and the ocean and the fact that we need to try to protect the, the ocean to actually sustain our life here on, on land. And then this is all ghost. Netting. So under the current circumstances, I think art and culture are things that we really need to focus on and, and cling to at the moment. Um, they're a big part of our life that, you know, we need and um, just for your own mental health uh, and well-being. So mine's called Forest Bathing and the Wood Wide Web and we thought we'd kind of show people how we look at trees. The medals have got paintings um, that I've done and I kind of chose a painting for a tree. And it's a fantastic project and to get a project like this off the ground is huge. The 13 artists that are involved in this were like ecstatic and so excited at the opportunity, particularly the opportunity along the highway because it's such a high exposure site and it gives them a chance to actually get their works out into the public arena. And then these are the ropes that I've collected off the beaches and pulled them apart. The materials I've used are marine debris mainly, so it's very labour intensive, there's a lot of work involved. There's well over 100 metres of ghost netting and, and materials like that that have gone into the base of these as well. So, yeah, hundreds of hours of work, but it's art with a message, and that's where I like to come from. We need all the help we can get in these little towns, or you know, like just to get people to stop, you know, get a, some fuel, a cup of coffee, you know, have some lunch, and um, you know, it, it all helps. It all helps, and this is a great, this is a, a, a it's a great thing that we're doing here with this with this art trail. It's just something totally different. Although it was really tough to put together and transport and everything else, um, it's it's really great to have that feeling of you know I've completed this, you know it's here and people can see it. Um, so art for me has really been you know a means of therapy to get through this time. Obviously, I'm very far away from my family and don't know when I'll be able to go back and see them again. So yeah, having a creative outlet has really just kept kept me sane through the whole experience. <laughs> um, it's, it has been good for the whole town. I think it's lovely to be able to appreciate art. It, it's like music, it just gives you a good feeling.